Hey guys, Jenna here, and I want to come to you and show you a really neat trick. So, I don't know if any of you buy your meats in bulk. Stephen and I have just started trying to do that. And we go to either a Sam's or a Costco and buy large amounts that we plan to try and make last for an entire month. Um, so, today we went to Costco on his lunch break. We bought a ton of pork chops, we bought a bunch of chicken tenders. Um, tenderloins, we bought three big packs of hot dogs, and of course we're going to freeze a lot of that because we can't eat all of that right now, and it needs to last us for a little while. So one of the things that I do um, is I break up, like say this is our ground beef, so I'm going to show you today. Uh, I break it up in packs like this, which is, you know, kind of normal thing. But I want to show you a couple tips that I've learned um, whenever you are freezing your meats to make them thaw out quicker. Um, and be a lot easier for you, especially if you don't uh, think about what you're going to make until later in the day, uh, which is what I do a lot. Um, so I've taken my ground beef, we had about six and a half pounds, and I combined them all or, or distributed them all into their own little Ziploc bags, put the date that I bagged them, because all but one of those probably is going to go into the freezer as of right now. And then I'm going to do this next trip that's going to make it even easier. Um, so what I do is I flatten everything out and then I do a basically like a little divot down the side um, basically dividing these into four portions so if we don't need to use an entire portion say we're just going to do two little hot dog or two little hamburgers um, we can break just a couple little bars off of here so I'm going to show you how I do that here right now so let me point my camera down all right so I have our block of um, ground beef and I have just, I'll set this one here so you see what it looks like. Um, so I've just flattened it out so that it's a nice little square. Since it's a thin piece, it's going to thaw out pretty quick, uh, especially if you put it in a bowl of water. But to go even further, what I like to do is take a chopstick or you can take, if you have a knife that's covered, take the back end of the knife. Um, or if you have a nice heavy maybe a metal drinking straw um, or a very thin um, spatula or even worst case scenario a butter knife so it's just something that has a nice thin long piece on it and we're just going to take it about halfway and push all the way down and then i'm going to come over this way and do it this way as well now they don't have to be exact, but this way it's going to be easier to break off portions if you don't want to use or don't want to thaw out an entire bag at one time. You'll actually be able to break these apart while they're frozen and just pull a piece or two out. So that is my little tip for today, and I hope that helps you. If it does, comment below. Let me know if you've seen this before, if you do this, or if you have any other tips and tricks that you would like to share with all of us that help you to uh, meal prep or um, what you do with your meats and things you buy in bulk. All right, guys. Bye.